We are here at the new location of Baghdad here in Rosmond Place and we, rather than just talking about it, we're going to taste it. The first macaron that we're going to taste is made with artisan jam, which is the passion fruit that is made from hmm, Kern and Hunt, as you can see. This adorable thing is a passion fruit macaron. Ooh, okay, let me get that. I'm pretty sure you can see it. Let me take a bite. Oh my god. So as you can see, we have a quite a spread here that we got that we ordered from Baguette. Uh, let me introduce the dishes first because uh, like other times, we didn't get to read the menu this time. I mean, we read the menu. You guys just didn't say it. All right, the first one is the Baudelaire tart, which actually has pears on top and with almond flakes. And this is a pistachio eclair, the actual, real, authentic French version of it. And this is the <clears throat> chocolate duo cake. And then we have the macarons, as you can see. And this is the spicy chicken mini croissant. And the, I can't reach that far, but that is the creamy, chi uh, creamy chicken danish, if I remember right. That's the one. All right, so we're gonna start with the, uh, let's start with this first, which is the Baudelaire, yeah, Baudelaire tart. As I said, it has pears on top with almond flakes, uh, toasted almond flakes around it. Let me just, Get a quick bite out of it. Ah, okay. Oh, that is so soft. That is heaven. Um, it's not overly sweet as one would expect, but the sugar is just right. How can I say this? It has a nutty flavor to it because obviously because of the almond that's mixed in. But other than that, the crust is perfect, the pears is awesome. No complaints there. Spicy chicken mini croissant. They have the full, like the bigger version of this as well. But this is the mini one. The special thing about baguette is they have the mini croissants to each and every different type of croissants that they have, which is chocolate or plain or spicy chicken. Alright. <clears throat> Let me cut this. Oh my god. That is so good. No complaints here. I wish I could finish it again before I start talking. It has um, chicken chunks in it. And obviously because of the name spicy in uh, the name, uh, it's a little bit, it has a little bit of a spice mixed in it, but it's not death by chocolate, uh, death by spicy kind of a taste. It's it's very nice and it's very fulfilling. Even the mini uh, croissant is very fulfilling. Even though I know I didn't finish it, I know for a fact. I don't want to go for the next one, but I have to. I'm going to get the one that is furthest from me. This is a Danish, and I know almost all of you guys have seen different type of Danishes, especially sweet ones, and this is a savory version because it has, once again, chicken chunks in it. Um, and I think this, wow, this is so soft. I think that's something common to all of their pastries here at Baguette because all of their pastries are soft and flaky and just super good. Alright, I'm gonna get the whole thing in my mouth. One go. No comments here. Wow. That is super good. This is basically opposite of the mini uh, 
the spicy uh, croissant. Mm. Sorry, yeah, the spicy uh, croissant because this is creamy. Again, it has chunks in it, but when this bread is a little bit more flaky, this is soft, and I know. I mean, this is not the mini version. This is actually the bigger version of it. But damn, this is so good. So we have three different types here. One is the green tea, the pure chocolate, and the coffee. <clears throat> so when it comes to the green tea, uh, it's actually made with green tea powder, which is uh, imported from Japan. One bite, I guess. Wow. That is so good. <laughs> Something that is noticeable in other places that I've tried macarons at is they tend to be overly sweet. They tend to be overly sweet, and I hate tasting. I hate macarons to be. To be honest, I don't like macarons, but this one I would go back for because it's not overly sweet. The sugar is balanced. Uh, the shell is crunchy. That is so good. Yeah. Next one, we have the coffee. This is actually the plain uh, <coughs> macaron shell. It does not have any coffee mixed in. The only coffee that you get is from the cream that's inside that has pure uh, coffee grounds or pure coffee powder mixed in. You can finish this in one bite. I'm not going to do that because That is so good. It's not sugary at all. It's coffee. It's just plain coffee, but in a macaron form. That is super good. And I'm, I'm so surprised by that. I'm so sad that I can't finish any of this. The last one, which is the pure chocolate croissant. It's in a cute brown color. Again, you can finish it in one bite. I'm not going to, because I'm a nice person who wants to share with other people. So the chocolate that's used here is Belgian chocolate and the same ganache is the one that's used here as the outer covering of the cake. I, I'll, I'll get, I'll get them something else, I can't. Oh, that is so good. Let's just finish this, I can't. Pistachio eclair. As you can see, like I know a lot of people actually taste uh, chocolate eclair, but here at uh, Baguette, you can actually taste the pistachio eclair, which is uh, which is apparently something that you can get in French cuisine. Um, <coughs> this is not like the usual what you see at normal bakeries, and as you can, it's it's very pretty and great. Okay, I don't want to cut into this, but oh. Wow. Okay. Can you see how much cream inside it? Oh my god, that is so good. It's refreshing. When it comes to like the last macaron was very rich, the ganache was very small. As opposed to this, because this is a hit of I don't know what to say to it, because it's just super good. Last but not least, this is the cake. As you can see, this is the chocolate duo cake. I know you can't see in it, but there's actually a raspberry jam, which is made from the same guys. That's uh, right in between the two sponge cakes. And the ganache that's used in was the same that was used in the macaron, as I said before. All right. <clears throat> Do I need a knife? Nah, probably not. All right. <sighs> the chocolate is very rich, it's very smooth, but you actually get like a hint of tartness, like a tanginess from the raspberry, which works perfectly well with the chocolate and then no complaints about the cake. My final thoughts here at Baguette. I know Baguette has a few different locations open, uh, one, the latest one here at Cosmic Place and then they also have one in Calabro 5 and in a dedicated cafe uh, in Mount Lavinia. And I think they deliver what they promise because they promise authentic French 
bread, uh, French pastry, and they deliver it. Hands down. This is super good. No complaints anywhere. What the must try is if you are here at Baguette, any restaurant, any location, the must tries are the eclair, the pistachio eclair. It's gorgeous. That's like the only way I can explain it. It's awesome. I love this. And other than that, when it comes to savouries, I think go for the spicy chicken because, again, once again, it's one of the best that I've tried. Even their bread is very flaky, very soft, and these are homemade. And all of the bread and the butter that they use are imported directly from France. Because then you, because of that, you know that all of them are, I mean, made with love, to be honest. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press that bell icon to get the latest notifications when Hype uploads. You can show some love to Baguette. Uh, the link, the links to their social media platforms are in the description below. You can find us on Facebook at Ceylon Today, and you can find us on Instagram. Hype by Ceylon Today Web. We put out giveaways every week. Check those out as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.